Hey everyone, we are here today sharing all about the weighted blanket, the beauty behind activities to try with it, how it works, how to introduce it to your child if they are a little bit hesitant, and everything in between. So the goal of the weighted blanket is to provide just enough calming proprioceptive input that your child's body feels cool, calm, and collected. It is your job as the parent, the teacher, the educator, whoever you are, is to watch the child, see how they are modulating the input, and make changes as needed. So the weighted blanket from HeartGlug comes in two pieces so that you can remove the cover to wash it. And it's made out of a soft, minky fabric that has a great tactile experience for your kiddo. So if the outer minky material gets a little bit too hot for your kiddo, you can always take the cover off and use just the inside of the blanket, which is made out of a cooling bamboo material. The weighted blanket is the perfect addition to bedtime routine because it provides deep pressure from the weights, but isn't too much to be uncomfortable. It's soft, it's easy to fold up, it's easy to roll, and it's an easy way to incorporate just a little more proprioceptive input into you or your child's daily routine. So who can benefit from the weighted blanket? Really anyone can benefit, but let's talk specifically sensory because it was designed with sensory in mind. All right, let's start by breaking it down with maybe a kiddo who struggles to fall asleep at night or stay asleep at night. We love incorporating the weighted blanket into the bedtime routine, doing some different activities with it before the child gets into bed and then using it while the child is sleeping as well. The weighted blanket can also be beneficial to use during the day for a sit down task to help with focus and attention. It can also be useful during transitions. So while riding in the car, especially if your child gets car sick, the weighted blanket provides calming proprioceptive input that can help decrease anxiety or motion sickness. Yeah, that's when I use my weighted blanket actually is in the <laughs> car. So the Harklow weighted blanket is designed to provide deep pressure proprioceptive input as well as tactile input. And we love our weighted blankets because they do provide that fun textured dots from the minky fabric. And you can lay the weighted blanket over your child and it provides that deep pressure input, which is really calming and grounding to the nervous system. Some kiddos really love the weighted blanket the first time they're introduced to it, but some kiddos really struggle with learning how to use it, understanding the benefits, and I mean, change is hard. So when you bring in a whole new object to the bedtime routine, adding it in can be really challenging and some kiddos just really struggle to use it. Yeah, I mean, it's a weighted blanket. It's a blanket that's heavy, that's new, it's novel, it's different. And like Jessica said, change can be hard for a lot of our kiddos. So here are some ideas that you can use when introducing the weighted blanket. So the very first thing that you wanna do is talk about what the blanket actually provides. It's offering that deep pressure, it's here to help you feel calm and organized, and it is a tool for your sensory system. And then start small. So instead of just putting the weighted blanket on them right away, allow your child to explore the weighted blanket. Let them touch it, let them pick it up, let them play with it a little bit to get comfortable with it. That includes taking the weighted blanket out of the box, out of the packaging when you first open it up so they can be the first one to really interact with it. So another tip is to incorporate the weighted blanket when your child is happy. So maybe they're playing a game and you recommend to try using the weighted blanket during their game while they're happy and talk about those feelings. It's always so beneficial to incorporate the child's feeling with these new sensory experiences that you are incorporating. And then like Rachel said, use it with different games and other toys. Use it as a sled to pull their favorite toys around the house or something similar. Yeah, you can even put it on their back, use it as a superhero cape to help them use their super sensory superpowers. So another fun new way that you can try it is by adding a picture to their visual schedule. If that's something that they use, maybe a PEC system or on their talking device, then you can add a picture of them under the weighted blanket or just a regular picture of a weighted blanket so they can see that it's time to use their weighted blanket and it is built into their visual schedule. That's actually another great strategy too, is to take pictures of them while they're using the weighted blanket and have that visual feedback so that you can show them pictures of the last time they used their blanket and how happy they were when they used it. 
Also, never force your child to use the weighted blanket. We want it to be a positive experience, a positive tool for them to use to help feel calm and organized. And if we try to force them to use it, oftentimes they will refuse. Mm -hmm. And always, kids are unpredictable, so don't be alarmed if your kiddo loves it one day and then kind of avoids it the next day. Just continue to provide that positive interaction with it and like Jessica said, never force them to use it. We always say that you need to empathize with your child as well. So if they're struggling to use the weighted blanket, if they refuse to use it once or twice, empathize with them, let them know that that's okay, their feelings are okay, and you can try again next time. All right, so a couple of different ways to incorporate the weighted blanket into your child's daily routine. We wanna make this as seamless as possible. The first way is to obviously use it as part of their bedtime routine. You can also use it during transitions and in the car. Another time that you can use it is during quiet activities like reading or watching TV. You can also use it during focus sit-down tasks like homework or meal time. And then you can also use it after school. It's a great activity to incorporate when the child is just totally done after school and they need some of that deep pressure input to kind of regroup and get ready for the next set of activities for their routine. You can also use the weighted blanket at school. They're kind of large, but you can fold it up and use it as a lap pad during class time. Yep, it just provides a lot more input for those super sensory seekers. As pediatric occupational therapy assistants, it is our job to make sure that people are using the weighted blankets efficiently and as the tools that they were originally designed for. So with that being said, we recommend no more than 10% of the child's body weight or the adult's body weight. And the blankets are designed to fit the body, not the bed. And then we always recommend that the child can independently lift and move the weighted blanket so that if they are using it at bedtime, they can independently take the blanket off when necessary. If you feel like the weighted blanket isn't heavy enough for your child or they are modulating the input a little bit better the more they get used to it, then you can always try folding it in half and putting it on your child that way, but test it out first before you put them under the weighted blanket in their bed on their own to sleep throughout the night. You can always start to trial using the weighted blanket less as your child uses it appropriately. We want to make these children have appropriate adaptive responses to sensory input and using the weighted blanket is a great way to facilitate that. So if you need more ideas and more strategies, we do have a podcast episode all about how to use weighted items efficiently. That episode is number 68, and it's all about tips, tricks, and strategies for using weighted items efficiently. And you can find that on any podcast platform and search All Things Sensory by Harkla. All right, now the fun part begins. We are going to share our favorite activities to do with the weighted blanket. So the first one we like to call the turtle. You're going to crawl on your hands and knees and you're placing the weighted blanket on your back while you crawl. Now, if you wanna make it a little bit more challenging, have the child crawl forwards, backwards, side to side, diagonals, change it up. Even try a bear walk. Another fun way to use the weighted blanket is as a sled. So have your child put their favorite items on the weighted blanket and pull it around the house, or maybe a sibling on the weighted blanket if it's safe, maybe you, depending on how strong they are, depending on how much input you want to offer, but allowing them to pull the weighted blanket around is a great way to get some upper body strength and more sensory input. Another one is the tortilla roll. So you're gonna lay the weighted blanket open on the floor, have your child lay on the blanket, and you're gonna roll them up really tight like a burrito, give them some squishes, and then have them unroll themselves if possible. You might have to help them a little bit, and then do it again, but have them switch directions. Now, just to make sure that we are safe here, never leave your child rolled up in the weighted blanket for longer than a few seconds. And make sure that their head is outside of the blanket as well. So another way to work on some independent living skills would be to practice folding the weighted blanket. It is challenging, so give them some time to practice and provide a lot of positive feedback while you're working on this one. So another way that you can use the weighted blanket is to use it as a sleeping bag. So have your child lay on half of the blanket 
it and fold the other half over their body and make sure their head is out of it and make sure they can lift it up on their own to get out. Yeah, it's a great way to practice going camping and to prep for maybe a new activity that you're gonna try. You can even have your kiddo use the weighted blanket on their dolls or their stuffed animals. So have them put their little friends under the weighted blanket, cover them, and have your child talk to their animals or their dolls about what it's doing to them and how it makes them feel and kind of work on that pretend play. So you can also use the weighted blanket during nap time, not just bedtime. If your child is still taking naps, that's a great opportunity to incorporate it into their daily routine. And then one of our favorites, number eight, is to use a blanket swing. So this requires two adults and the child laying inside of the blanket and you're gonna grab it and lift it up, swing, 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 and then gently crash on a crash pad or a couch cushion. So another one that you can do is to pull the weighted blanket up and down the stairs if you have them available. This is a great way to get some really good heavy work in. Mm -hmm. And then number 10 is to put that weighted blanket inside a laundry basket or a box and have the child push it around, pull it around. Just think about all of the great heavy work they are getting to their joints and their muscles and they're just having a great time while they're doing it as well. Okay, so we've given you some different ideas on how to introduce the weighted blanket, some different ways to use it throughout the daily routine, and some fun new activities to try with your weighted blanket. Now, if you have questions, if you try any of these activities, tag us on Instagram, on Facebook, send us a question via email or a DM. We are here to help you make your weighted blanket experience as safe and fun as possible. Does it make sense when it comes out of my mouth? Use the inside. Okay. Inner. I didn't want to say inner. <laughs> 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 yeah. Bamboozled. Okay. Sometimes okay. I feel like I'm just like. <laughs> just watching Sam's face. I know. <laughs>